Hi everybody, this is Alan Fine and I'm here with Ewan Frost Pennington. And he is here representing the Muncaster Castle and Pennington Hotels in Great Britain. Now, I don't know if you know about them, but you will at the end of this segment on Insider Travel Report. Ewan, thank you for talking to us. Yeah, delighted to. Uh, so, so your name is the name of the product. So explain, let's go back in history. We're in the time machine. How did, what, where did this all begin? So it, it begins 12.08 when... Uh, does that, what, PM or AM or what? No, no, <laughs> 12, 12... The year, the year. 824 years ago, wow. which is when Gamel de Pennington, my ancestor, actually built the Peel Tower to defend against the Scots. Uh, so it's, wow. we're, we're near the border of Scotland and England. Right. And so very much it was built as a, a defensive structure so that if the Scots or when the Scots, because it happened regularly, right. came down and raided, uh, people could, could run away and hide in the castle. So Moncaster Castle. And so that was, that was originated by, by my, uh, one of my ancestors. Wow. Um, so, and then our, our family has lived there continuously since then. Uh, many generations it's never been bought or sold and we now have this for one of my lines is it's just consistent like we we know who lived there what they were doing um and ironically uh, i'm three quarters scottish so the scots finally took over but through <laughs> marriage rather than yeah, uh, peacefully yeah <laughs> rather than warfare uh, yeah. uh so yeah my dad's scottish and my mom's half scottish too so my one of my grandfather's scottish so wow. Um, so yeah, but uh, but essentially the family is then over the subsequent eight hundred years. It's just like oh let's have a let's have a conservatory, but instead of a conservatory, it's like let's have another tower. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's then just been built out like from then, and now we have eighty chimney pots. We've never actually I, I've never actually counted the rooms. I don't actually know the exact number of rooms, but I I live there. I've just moved back there from America, so I've been living in San Francisco uh, for the last three years, and then in June kind of made the decision to go back and help my parents retire because I'm going to be taking over uh, in the long term. And it was like either I, I get my green card or I, I go back and take over a historic castle. So I've, I've chosen the latter, but I still want to bring some of that American magic okay, back, to, yeah. back to the UK. And that's why I'm excited we're launching this new product that is a kind of heritage package to welcome Americans to the depth of culture and history that we have associated with the castle. Wow, so, so this, is, this, is, this is the genuine article. And so what exactly are you offering? Because it was all private home and, and now what are the products? Yeah, so um, what my parents have done is, well, it's, it's the classic aristocratic story of uh, hit hard times, sold off large bits of the land and, and the assets that make money. So about 50 years ago, my family started to turn to tourism. But until now, they're very much focused on the British tourist market. So the day visitor. Um, and we do have a, a, quite a lot of tourists that come. But what I'm excited about is the fact that they only come between 12 and 4 p.m. Uh, to, yeah, to visit. Yeah, locally, they drive, yeah. they drive over. They drive over, and it's a, kind of been a bit of a secret for the, for, for the international market. But basically, the, the castle, these amazing state rooms, sit there empty for 90% of the, like 80% of the year. And it means that in the evenings we can have fantastic dinners. The, the, grand, the grand dining room is, there's nothing like it. We had a dinner there last Saturday, it's a video. We uh, went to the library afterwards and you can have whiskey, port, and they, these rooms are special. It's exactly what my hours do. These, these like. ceilings are like miles high. I mean, yeah, 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 I mean, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's more, it's also just the intricate details. This is like- um, Even on the ceiling, even. On the ceiling, yeah. yeah. Like uh, the library, for example, we've painted the constellation uh, of the stars in 1208 when the Penningtons first arrived at, at Moncaster. So, so you as got, it was then. Yeah, as it was then. And it's done in a, in a really nice way. But you can just tell these rooms, my ancestors have done a fantastic job of like making them. They're perfect for like a group of 25 people to host. And, and it's exactly what my ancestors would have been doing. They would have been hosting 
uh, groups of, from like a politics perspective. We've hosted kings there before. Uh, King Henry the Sixth is of particular note. He he stayed there for multiple weeks on the runaway from a, a big battle. So we've got a big depth of history. I can't give away too much. I need need you to come, come here, come here and, yeah. and have the have the historic tour by one of the family members. So so but but it's a part of this this uh, area is this castle plus you also have a hotel nearby and other things let's let's talk about what exactly the guests can come and do yeah so so what because the tr so we are a little bit off the beaten track so we are a bit hidden this is why lots of people haven't necessarily not, not, so, not necessarily a bad thing exactly so the lake district is a kind of tourist mecca four million people go there every year lots of brits but where we are, we, you have to go through the mountain. So you do an hour drive from the main touristy hub to get to us. Um, but that in itself is spectacular views. And uh, once you're there, uh, we want people to stay and really enjoy it. So have like a two day experience, make that hour journey an hour back, like really worthwhile. And so that means what we're offering is uh, for people to come, potentially we incorporate, um, there's a, a miniature steam railway that goes 11 miles up the valley, p very picturesque, so you can maybe catch that to get to us. We've got a thousand acres of land where we can do four by four tours, other activities that we're currently exploring. Then potentially we, we have a flying team of 25 birds. So this isn't just falconry, this oh, is yeah, so yeah, much more. Cool. We've got vultures, we've got a bald eagle, we've got the, the, the lot. But you mentioned that you, no one's staying at the castle yet. And you're planning for that. So let's talk yeah. about that. And let's also talk about the hotel, please. Yeah. Okay. So I currently live in the castle, as do my parents. The part of the castle that I've moved into is quite honestly too good for me. It's wooden innate paneling, the ceilings hand painted. And I want to redecorate. I'm a 32 year old guy. Uh, and there's another part of the castle that I'm going to move into, but that frees up this part that is really nice and the state rooms and the oldest part to be made into really top-notch accommodation, kind of luxury accommodation. So stay tuned for that. So that's that's not going to be until 2024. But what my mum has done, they've we've bought a, another historic property nearby, which has 16 rooms. There it's luxury. It's still 500 years old. It still has it. And so we, we can do, that's a 10 minute drive from where we are. It's also accessible to one of the, the big lakes, Lake Waswater. So so uh, th what's the name of this place that there's 16 rooms? So that's called Cellar Park Hotel. So Cellar Park Country House Hotel. How's that spelled? Uh, Cellar, S-E-L-L-A, and then Park. Mm -hmm. um, and it really is a pretty special place. Like The ideal for us is for you to come for at least one, if not two nights, because to actually fully appreciate the space, we think you need that amount of time and it allows us to give you the depth of experience. And but you can stay longer. You can stay longer, of course. Uh, the, I mean, the longer the better, but we think to get the act, like the optimal is at least two nights, um, then you can really get to know the place and we can get to know you as the family. Because I think the unique selling point for us is, is that it is the family that would be hosting, like myself, my dad, my mom, uh -huh. or one of my siblings potentially. And 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 you would be uh, hosting uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we can we can do the whole shabam uh, and the like. So yeah, yeah. And uh, so what? So staying there, what would the amenities be like? So um, it's a, a four-star hotel. Uh, it's historic heritage property, so thick walls. Uh, but in terms of amenities, we don't have a pool or anything like that, but that's just because of the heritage nature of it. It's, I think, what makes it different. Mm -hmm. um, there's, yeah, access to grand gardens and the and like. So in the neighborhood, what is there, uh, what's, what's in the region? What is the, what, if, you, if you were staying for, let's say you stayed for a week, where would yeah. you be going? Yeah, so you, it's, it is a perfect point to go and reach the lakes. So the lakes hiking, you, Scarfell Pike is the highest mountain, that's about a 15 minute drive. So it's the highest mountain in England, 15 minute drive. There's lakes, there's the sea, large beaches. Uh, yeah, we've, we've got a lot going on. So, yeah. so to wrap up, what I really want to, uh, the travel advisors are now salivating. <laughs> I, I hope, I hope you're going, wow, this is, this is different. I, I got <laughs> clients that want different. This is that. How do they get involved with you? How, how can they get in touch and how can they learn more? So uh, reach out to me. Uh, I'm very much on the front line as a family member, but you and at Moncaster.co.uk. So you and E-W-A-N. Right. And then at Moncaster, M-U-N-C-A-E.
S-T-E-R dot C-O dot U-K. Okay. That's the best way to reach me. Okay. And I'd love to talk to anyone that's interested in this kind of product. Okay. Well, that's great. So any final words to our 108,000 travel advisors? We look forward to hosting you. Maybe not all of you at once, yeah. but... Uh, <laughs> Stagger it just a little. Yeah. Yeah. But we can't wait to hear from you. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.